1972, at the age of 30 years, Joe Biden became the sixth youngest senator in U.S. history. In his political career of around 50 years, he had always been in some form of power. He is known to have foreign policy on his tips. Gallup survey in 2014 found that 75% of voters felt corruption was widespread in American government. Still having a long career, Joe Biden had no corruption scandal until 2019 when Junior Biden came into limelight. His son, Hunter Biden, was accused of getting kickbacks from Ukrainian oligarch none other than Mykola Zlachevsky. In 2014, Hunter Biden, despite having no qualifications, was offered a job from Mykola Zlachevsky's company and he received a salary of $1 million every year. Even he never visited Ukraine ever till now. Want to know who is Mykola Zlachevsky and what job he offered to Hunter Biden? Watch the full video. Mykola Zlachevsky, a Ukrainian oligarch who hired CIA director and was Biden's boss. We at Business Chronicles tell the stories of extraordinarily successful people. Please subscribe to our channel to help us in making more videos. Mykola Zlachevsky is the founder of Burisma Holdings, which is one of the largest private natural gas producers in Ukraine. Burisma Holdings revenue is hidden behind the web of offshore companies in Cyprus and the British Virgin Islands, but the estimated revenue is at least above $500 million per year. Mykola Zlovchevsky, through his proxy companies, is the biggest holder of Ukrainian oil and gas special permits, the majority of which he gained when he was the Minister of Environment and Natural Resources in Ukraine. In order to extract oil and gas in Ukraine, you need a special permit issued by the state, and what is better, that you issue the permits to yourself. In 1966, Mykola Zlochevsky was born in Kiev, Ukraine. He studied accounting and auditing from the International University of Business and Law in Kherson, and later studies law from Odessa Law Academy. In 1994, Mykola Zlachevsky, under the Ukrainian President Leonid Kuchma, became the Chairman of State Committee whose role was to promote relations between Ukraine and Russia. In 2002, Mykola Zlachevsky, together with Mykola Lysin, founded Burisma Holdings. The company was registered in Cyprus. In 2003, he used his personal influence with Ukrainian President Leonid Kuchma and became chairman of the State Committee for Natural Resources. In 2004, he acquired two companies, Esko Pivnich and Pari, and used his influence as a chairman of State Committee to issue exploration and drill permits to these two companies. The ownership of both companies was given to Delaware-based company Sunrise Energy Resources, which was controlled by Mykola Zlachevsky. In 2004, Mykola Zlachevsky used his influence to shut down a Polish-Ukrainian joint gas venture to support his own gas company Ukrainafta Borinya. Everything was going fine. Mykola Zlachevsky and Burisma Holdings were growing at enormous speed until 2004's Orange Revolution came and caused the Zlachevsky's aide Leonid Kuchma to leave the presidential office. In 2000, journalist Georgi Gungadze, along with Olena Pertula, founded online newspaper Ukrainska Pravda that focuses on news and political coverage in Ukraine. To avoid the intensive censorship imposed by Leonid Kuchma's government, Georgi Gungadze used the online newspaper Ukrainska Pravda to write unbiased political news articles and views. Some of them were focused particularly on President Kuchma and the Ukraine's wealthy oligarchs. Within a few months of the launch of the newspaper, Georgi Gungadze was kidnapped, and after two months, his dead body was found. The event immediately attracted widespread public attention and media interests. Things got worse when the audio of President Kuchma was leaked. The scandal was known as the Cassette Scandal. The audio was recorded by President Kuchma's bodyguard, Major Mykola Melenchenko. The leaked audio contains conversations with Interior Minister Yuri Kravchenko and Presidential Chief of Staff Vladimir Levitin, discussing the matter of Georgi Gungadze's writings. The ideas presented in the audio to shut down Georgi Gungadze's were like to deport him, kidnap him or disappear him to Chechnya. The cassette scandal became major political scandal in Ukraine, causing huge protests in Kiev demanding Kuchma's resignation. 
In 2001, Viktor Yushchenko resigned as the Prime Minister and led mass protests against President Kuchma. The mass protests continued till 2004's Orange Revolution, which eventually caused the removal of Kuchma as president. In 2005, Viktor Yushchenko was elected as the president of Ukraine. After Viktor Yushchenko became president, Mykola Zlachevsky lost his influence in Ukrainian government and his enormous growth of Burisma holdings started to slow down. In 2010, Mykola Zlachevsky regained his influence when President Viktor Yushchenko's term ended and new President Viktor Yanukovych took the office. Under President Viktor Yanukovych, Mykola Zlachevsky became Minister of Ecology and Natural Resources. Burisma holdings started to flourish again. It started to buy stocks of many other small struggling gas companies and took control of them. Burisma Holdings owned over a third of Ukraine's oil and gas permits, and it would only continue to expand. To buy competitors, Mykola Zlachevsky needed a lot of cash. For that, he made a partnership with Ukraine's most powerful oligarch and billionaire, Ihor Kolomoisky. Ihor Kolomoisky was the owner of the Ukraine's largest bank, Privatbank. He is known for hardball actions against competing companies, and he was the best man to buy Mykola Zlachevsky's competitors. To learn more about Ihor Kolomoisky and to know how he became the Ukraine's most powerful oligarch, please watch the full video, which is in the description below. In 2012, Ihor Kolomoisky took the controlling interest in Burisma Holdings, and Mykola Zlachevsky was removed from the position of Minister of Ecology and Natural Resources. In 2014, Ihor Kolomoisky used his influence and became governor of Dnipropetrovsk Oblast in Ukraine. He spent millions of dollars to field and equip fighters to stop the Russian advancements in the Crimea region. Putin was not happy with Kolomoisky's involvement, and it's said that Putin became the personal enemy of Kolomoisky. To increase the influence outside of Ukraine and to avoid the wrath of the powerful enemy Putin, Ihor Kolomoisky started to hire global influential figures. The vice president's son at that time, Hunter Biden, was hired to join the board of Burisma Holdings with a salary of $50,000 per month. Aleksandr Kwasniewski, who was the president of Poland for 10 years, was also hired as director of Burisma Holdings. Koffer Black, who was once CIA officer and was the director of Counterterrorism Center, was also hired. Devin Archer was also hired who was the founder of Rosemont Seneca Partners, which was the investment fund firm in Washington, D.C. Alan Apter, who was an investment banker with connections around the globe, also joined Burisma Holdings. In 2016, Mykola Zlachevsky's daughter, Karina Zlachevska, also joined the board of Burisma Holdings. In 2014, due to President Viktor Yanukovych's sudden decision to avoid political association and free trade agreement with the European Union, mass protests known as Revolution of Dignity started, and at the end, President Viktor Yanukovych was removed and new government, which had favorable opinions on European Union, was elected. Mykola Zlachevsky again had the same problem which he had in 2005. He had no friends in the government. This time his problems were a little intense. The new government of Petro Poroshenko started a criminal investigation into Burisma Holdings, looking into money laundering and tax evasion. The investigations resulted in Zlachevsky to run away from Ukraine and later he bought Cypriot citizenship. In 2015, Ukraine government put Mykola Zlachevsky on the wanted list for financial corruption. In 2018, all the cases and investigations on Burisma Holdings after some fines were closed and Mykola Zlachevsky returned to Ukraine. Burisma Holdings continued to flourish and progress as the largest private gas company in Ukraine until the 2022 war. Mykola Zlachevsky's secret of enormous success was not different than any other Russian or Ukrainian oligarchs. Its old formula, make political connections, get influence in government, and use the influence and buy the state-owned assets at dirt cheap rates. In Zlachevsky's case, he obtained exploration permits which allowed him to control one-third of the gas fields in Ukraine. Another reason for Mykola Zlachevsky's success was his connection with the most powerful oligarch Ihor Kolomoisky, 
whose money enabled him to acquire all the struggling gas companies and Burisma Holdings became the most known and the biggest gas company in the Ukraine. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this.